Hey guys, welcome to Free Sisters. In this video, we are going to see about photoperiodism in animals. Like we'll see what is for your photoperiodism and we'll see how it will affect animals. Like how is it affecting animals? That's what we are going to see in this video. This video is going to be short, I guess. So let's get started without further ado. First, let's see what is photoperiod. The length of the day and night is known as photoperiod. Nothing but like uh, an average length of something word that is called photoperiod. And what is photoperiodism? Photoperiodism is a reaction what organisms show. The physi physiological reaction what organisms show during the length of uh, night or dark period or day is called photoperiodism like for example uh, for plants if sunlight comes only uh, the flower will come like for a specific time if it comes only then only the flower is supposed to bloom so there's this biological clock inside the organisms which will help for the uh, absorption of sunlight and it will help in blooming so this is like we can say that is also photoperiodism and the specific day length which is required for uh, initiation of seasonal events is called critical post photo period. Like for something to begin for uh, like if, for if this much time is there for three hours of sunlight is there if a flower is going to bloom and then that is called the critical photo period of that particular flower. This is just an example I'm telling and the reason be, this is the reason behind the seasonal blooming of flowers because it will differ for every season the sunlight uh, time will differ like for 9 to 8 some days like from 5 to um, 4 o'clock in the evening only it will be there and the power also will differ from season to season so this is also the reason behind the seasonal blooming of the flowers so this photoperiodism was discovered and identified by Charles Darwin and his son Francis in the year 1880 so Charles Darwin and his son Francis discovered this in the year 1880 and next we are going to see about photoperiodism in animals so many animals like uh, which live in like higher altitudes uh, like a uh, mountains and all they use this photoperiodism to adjust themselves to seasonal behavior like to adjust themselves to see seasonal behavior and other development strategies for example few animals like they migrate from place to place only in this particular season they don't know like they don't have calendars like us but still they do migration like birds and all so this is all this is the reason behind that so this phenomenon is not uh, like very evident in plants uh, in animals like it is very evident in plants because of flower blooming and seeds and all it's very evident in plants but it's not very evident in animals but animals uh, do respond to the time of the year for certain behaviors like for this time of the year this will happen there are certain time for the animals also so this is what we are going to discuss for today's video guys we will discuss about what is photoperiodism and what is photoperiodism in animals so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to the channel if you understood what i'm telling Check my Instagram for detailed notes based on the topic I take. Thank you guys. Bye.